This is Otilif, a dull black metallic ore with one of the highest properties of electrical charge. This mineral is used for our next generation of faster digital processors. These electronic chips contain Otilif, which loads Google Earth at unprecedented speeds. Through the lenses of our machines, it powers us to see the source of this mineral, an anonymous isla of the east coast of Mexico, named Aditnalta. This isla is one of the world's richest source of Otilif, and its paisaje is being consumed by our hunger for technology. Four years ago, Aditnalta was nothing but paisajes pintorescos. Today, there are more than 50,000 people. From high above, the chasm looks like the Grand Canyon in America, but at night, when you descend deeper into the illuminated basin, it hits you even harder. There under the mist lies an informal city, a renegade settlement, generated purely from our hunger for faster technologies. Initially a formal mina, now it's like the Wild West. It's mud, puercos and people, all ruled by Los Zeta. Los Carteles have orchestrated these informal infrastructures, including a two-kilometer man-made tunnel from the shoreline and an intricate mining system to disperse these minerales within existing resource trails. Large openings pierce the rock face, connecting the isla to the city below. Thousands of settlements have grown under these informal conditions, where the mineros scavenge for leftover materials and build their own paradise, littering the basin of this valley. Because of the high demand of Otunif in 2012, it has spiked levels from $29 a pound to $275 a pound. This caused a mass migration for the next modern day gold rush. At night, the city light reveals the settlements, clustered around aquifers and water pools, accumulating up the ravines, reaching up towards the sky. Scattered within the colonias are cockfighting rings, bordelos and black markets, where everyone tries to make their fortune, forging their way up the basin, trading with mere shards and filings of Otunif. Deep in the laberinto beside the basin, large excavated mining sites are carved with the most primitive of tools. And descending into the pendiente, hundreds of teenage boys are hammering through the dark strata, searching for Otunif. The mineral on this island loads our screens and the Otunif particles rises into the atmosphere, causing a crimson tide phenomenon, infiltrating the waters and air visible from Google Earth. 